Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and this is my co-host Cameron. Welcome to Big Blue News. We are going to start off the show discussing the topic of vaping in several bathroom closings this school year. The administration considers the high number of students vaping in the school to be an issue. The bathroom closure is rumored to be related to this. The school and staff have noticed students have an issue with vaping and the bathrooms being locked. Some students argue that closing bathrooms would be an inconvenience and may take time out of class as well as causing additional problems in the case of an emergency. Many students believe that the closing of bathrooms and the vaping epidemic are related, but our interview with, school, with the school administrators proved otherwise. With around 25% of all high school students actively vaping, the issue of dealing with students vaping in the school has been on administrators' agendas for the first semester of the 2017 to 2018 school year. How do you feel about the whole vaping issue in Swampscott High School? Um, honestly, I find it kind of unnecessary. Cause yeah. like, you have bathrooms locked during the school day. Like, you have to mm -hmm. walk around the school just to go to the bathroom. You are losing time yeah. from school, so. Yeah. In other news, there's currently a debate going on about immigration and what to do with undocumented immigrants who come to the U.S. as children who, whose legal status in the country may soon expire. Democrats demanded the debate and briefly shut down the government last week to force a decision. Now let's switch it to sports. Unfortunately, the boys track team came in second place losing to a hard opponent, Somerville. The boys were also undefeated until the final week. Congratulations to the girls track team. They had an undefeated season and became this year's NEC champs. Congratulations to Swampscott High School hockey team for making it into the playoffs on February 4th, 2018. The team is 9-4. On Saturday, February 17th, they have a senior night game against our rivals, Marblehead, who are 1-16. Captain Dom Cotaspati says that every game against Marblehead is a challenge. On this past Tuesday, we had a guest speaker at our school named Calvin Terrell, who is a speaker, educator, and community builder beginning this service in his youth for over 20 years. Calvin's experience have afforded him many collaborations and lucky enough we got him to have him speak at our entire school about today's problems with prejudice, discrimination, and bias in our society. Did you think like the assembly was useful to our school? Yeah, like when Calvin came in here, he had like really strong points with everything and like I think he really taught most of the school some important lessons. If you could take like one thing from like his presentation, what would it be? Probably like be kind to everybody because when you're not kind to somebody, they're just going to go and be mean to other people too. That is it for Big Blue News. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay in tune for next time.